Danbury High School. Approximately 3,000 students walk these halls every day. What follows are drugs and alcohol. This is a story of the hunt to figure out why do students use drugs and alcohol. Join us on our journey. We asked the student body, have you ever done drugs? 115 people answered. Here are the results. As this chart shows, 42% of students have not, while 58% have. Well, more than half of the kids have used them. We asked the same 115 kids, what kind of drugs have you used? These are the top five most used drugs at DHS. I think it's a problem. Too many kids are becoming involved with drugs at a young age. Uh, they're starting to become psychologically dependent on drugs and with the uh, increase in dab pens, it's much more uh, concealed and it's becoming a problem in DHS, definitely. I definitely think it is a problem. Um, we don't necessarily have good plans set in place for the drug use at DHS. Um, we also asked the student body what about alcohol usage? As this chart shows, 28% of the students have not, while 72% have. Uh, the best way to fight it is not fighting at all, actually. I feel like if there is no fighting at all, that the drugs will just continue to come in regardless if you guys fight or not, which would be a good way to you stop. Think the uh, teacher involved in Maybe stop making it seem like they're so bad and telling everyone not to do it. No, because think, then people want to do it more. When you say, don't do this, it's bad for you, people want to do it more. Do you think your teacher... Uh, much like I have said throughout this, um, one's relationship with drugs and alcohol has got to be a moderate thing. Okay, alcohol is legal at the age of 21. Um, doesn't mean that you have to drink all the time. However, you're bombarded by things, hey, two glasses of wine a day is good for your health, it's good for your heart. Well, okay, that's moderation. Moderation in all things, food, sex, drugs, alcohol, relationships, driving fast, driving slow, moderation in everything. You know, do what you gotta do, but don't get sucked up into it where this becomes your life. Um, and just be careful. I think right now, if a student's suffering from substance abuse, they really need to find someone that they trust, whether it be a, a brother, sister, counselor, teacher, or parent. Uh, realize that they're not alone. Um, you know, at times I think students might feel that they're alone and they can't say something. They might be afraid to talk to their parents about it. Uh, I think it's really important that students feel safe talking with someone. Uh, I realize it's going to be a difficult road to recovery, uh, but one that's certainly worth it. Uh, I think that drug use is a large issue nationwide. Um, I think that depending on what community you're in, we have different uh, drugs. Um, I know I have some uh, colleagues that work in other towns and they grapple with, with different drug issues. Um, I think there are many issues at hand in our community. Uh, I don't know that I would say drugs would be my number one, um, but it's certainly something that we need to monitor and ensure that students are making good choices. What is your opinion on drug use? Here are your actual answers.
because they want to try something new and they want to probably see what the hype is all about so then they would smoke or drink just to see if it's as good as everyone says and some people it would be like peer pressure students are struggling with more outside of school than they did when I first started here so I think that those factors are part of the cause of the increase in drug and alcohol use. Maybe peer pressure, maybe boredom, maybe just try new things. Just, you know, regular stuff. I think students use uh, drugs or drink alcohol uh, mostly out of boredom or because it's the cool thing to do, that's what their friends are doing. Uh, so it's kind of, they perceive it as socially acceptable. I feel like I'm being threatened and I'm being searched, which is um, unconstitutional. Um, I think the dogs are a little much, honestly. I think that having the dogs come in is just, I don't know, it scares people. Which I, I guess is a good thing. But it's Dog searches, I understand why they're doing it. They don't want kids to be doing drugs, and that's understandable. But like, I don't know, like, it is kind of like extra to me a little bit. I'm Officer Morlock. I've been a member of the Danbury Police Department for approximately 20 years. I've served for the school resource officer at Danbury High School for the last nine years. Question. It's definitely an issue. Um, we're more reactive than proactive, so if you come to, come to class reeking like marijuana, marijuana, especially burnt marijuana, is very distinctive. So if you come into class, you smell like marijuana, or what the teacher believes is marijuana, your eyes are red and glossy and bloodshot, you're lethargic. You think the teacher might say, hey buddy, let's go down and take a visit to the nurse, most likely. Um, so that's what we're more reactive. We're not like hiding out in the bathroom looking for kids who are coming in and smoking. So that's the only way we really catch kids. So, I think I'm going to reveal my age. I'm so I graduated high school in 19 long time ago. So I think alcohol. So you got to remember, back in those days, the drinking age was 18. So think about it. How old are you guys? 17. I turned 18 when I was my senior year in February. So you could actually go after school and go down to the local liquor store and buy a keg of beer or buy a booze. Right? Legally. And we had keg parties. There's more of a drinking culture back then, for sure. Did kids smoke marijuana in the 70s? Yeah, they did. Today, with, with the onset or advent of being legalized in Washington State, in Colorado, I think the message has been sent across the country, oh, weed is good, it's natural, it helps me sleep, all this nonsense. So I think, there's again, there's more of an uptick nowadays because of culture, it's more mainstream, a lot of pop artists do it. Oh, yeah, this is they rap about awesome. it, they sing it's about it, et cetera, et cetera. So definitely drug and alcohol problems back then. I think it's I think there's more prescription drug issues nowadays with the opioids, et cetera. That really wasn't an issue forty years ago. From personal experience, I have a friend who has, uh, he went through an opioid thing, and he, now he's going through an alcohol thing. And it's horrible to watch uh, one of your good friends go through this. And what, what occurs to me is, you know, I just want to slap him and say, what the hell's wrong with you? Get this done. Be done with this. But you can't, because you got, he got sucked up onto, into it, and he can't stop. And a behavior that is like that and you just can't stop, that's no way to live life. Um, so again, I said it what a dozen times, moderation is all this. That's what we about. 
living by the sea, sipping on some rum under the shade of a tree. That's what we about. Just feel the warm breeze, living young and wild and free. We have noticed that Denver High School is a place of growing drug and alcohol use. Bathrooms and hallways reek of weed. Students found new ways of using drug in school. Students are using jewels, vapes, and dab pens. Things are getting out of hand. And we want to make everyone aware. There are consequences for using drugs and alcohol.